What are we going to do, Lee? I suspect the conclusion is we're not going to drum suit. Um, this is the depth of our mud. So as such, the, the wheels of the drum seater <laughs> sink too far into the mud and hence the, the metering units sit on the mud and fail to function yeah. as metering units. Now, an engineer could approach this and say if we can find larger diameter wheels, light wheels, it could still work. But um, we need to see today, that's non-negotiable. So we're going to move on to a, a simpler a simpler technology. Because we're too lazy to do manual transplanting and we don't have seedlings anyway, so all we can do is broadcast the seed, but we'll try to do this as good as we can too. See, our biggest problem here is, is not that the drum seeder is a bad machine. You know, it will work fine on a soil which isn't as deep as the one that we've got here. It's this, what we call a mass clay. It is very, very rich in clay. It has about 80% clay content and it's very soft because of the water and uh, the volcanic origin it has. So even after we would wait more days, it wouldn't settle easily down. You know? So I think the main conclusion that we can draw is that a uh, drum seeder like this is just not suitable for this kind of uh, heavy and deep and soft soil. Otherwise, uh, it probably would work, but we'll have to find this out some other day. Do you do the a few, a few yeah. meters out ahead of you once you can. Just control, control. Just the little, little, yeah, little, like little, little, little fits of like, like this. You want to... You do like that? Yeah. See? Uh, uh. Now on your next run I want you to, um, getting your rate about right, but for the next run I want you to sow them all the right direct, the right way up. The right way up. I want you to land them with the chute facing up. Okay. Okay, Lee, uh, on a scale 1 to 10, uh, what do you think we've accomplished in terms of uh, spreading our seed uniformly? I think when we started the field, we were barely 5, but overall I think I'd give us a 7 or an 8. The uniformity is quite good. Uh, we're aiming for a plant density of 150 plants a square metre, and there's plenty of seeds in the field spread uniformly. To achieve just that, we can lose a few seeds and we'll still be fine. I, I had a lot of trouble initially. I was, I think, looking too much on the ground, trying to sprinkle seed in little patches, you know. And but later, I think I got the swing, you know, like the broad swing, looking straight ahead, walking and throwing. So I'm, I'm quite hopeful that I uh, improved over time. But uh, we'll see in a week, I guess, what emerges. Well, I hope we've got some before and after footage to prove just what you said. Yes. Yeah. So, is there anything else that we need to do next? I. Uh, There'll be an uh, application of butacor, a, a pre-emergent herbicide applied on Monday by our trained, trained applicators. We're not entitled to use the, those products ourselves. So that should get us our weed-free status and the establishment density we want. And we'll come back and assess that next week. Yeah, one thing that we've also done just after we we're done with, uh, we're done with sowing is we... Actually two things. One is we have dug a few little canals here and there to drain off uh, standing water and that was still quite deep in some patches and could negatively affect the emergence. Then we have spread some seed on the side uh, that was left over uh, just as a reserve. So we'll have a little seed bed there and if it turns out that we have empty patches and we need to do some re replanting there, so at least we have some seedlings for that. Okay, next week we'll see 